One day when I was out, my brother brought home this random ass cat and texted me a photo of it. Turns out his friend found it in the sewage, but they couldn't keep it, so he ended up fostering it until someone else adopts it. I kept it in the bathroom with food, water, a bed, and a temporary litter box. And yes, this is a barbecue tray. She's doing a poopy. Oh, I forgot to mention, it is actually a she. Me being stupid, I wanted Merlin to meet his new friend, so I held him in my arms so he could look at the foster kitten. Okay. Um, so Merlin cut my lip after meeting that cat. <laughs> Little did I know, I ended up with a scar on my lip, which is still here to this day. If that isn't karma for being a bitch, I don't know what is. Even though I'm a stranger, she was super affectionate and playful. So small, look how small you are. Oh, you are so cute. She is so playful. Oh. She was also really talkative. This little kitten that was found in a drain. Hello. This foster kitten was always hungry. I would give her the recommended amount and she would always want more. Every time I gave her food, she would demolish the plate. She was pretty much the size of my hand and my hands are really small because I'm a short girl. So you can imagine how tiny she would be. That this is my foot and she's pretty much the size of my foot and I'm a size 6 US. <laughs> I waited until Merlin was sleeping and I took her around the house so she could explore. What is this? It's the great outside. <gasps> She's so comfortable. Oh, okay. You want to come down? Okay, let me hold you. Look, this is how small she is. She's literally like this. No. Okay, sorry, baby. Okay, man. Don't get me. Her scent would rub off on random objects or myself and Merlin would happen to smell it. And when he does, he gets very mad and starts hissing. This is Merlin's hat. He's probably gonna smell it later and hiss at it. After a few days, her scent was around the house so Merlin eventually got used to it. So I decided to formally introduce them. I introduced them through a screen door at first and this is what happened. Off the bat, Merlin being a male and a bound to be asshole wants to smack her, and he did this pretty often. He would watch her, follow her around, and then smack her. I tried to distract his aggression with toys, but that didn't really work. Merlin, you cannot hit her. Why are you hitting her? <gasps> no, Merlin, no.
He ran away. I tried to help them bond using cat treats and this is what happened. For you and for you. Are you come here. If you notice, Merlin slows down his eating just to watch her. That little weirdo. Hey, come here. Come here. Bang a meal. This is good. He eventually got to a point where he would just follow her around and only sniff her. But she's very defensive herself, so she wouldn't let him go near her. Then, they got used to each other, but this only happens if Merlin is sleeping. One day, my brother was throwing a party with his friends, and one of the guys asked his family if he could adopt her. And he did! My, my, my friend from a stray cat, and they need someone to adopt her. So they're giving me all that towel or shit for it. For free. Yeah, but one of the boys yeah, yeah, no, someone put a flea on her, and then I gotta take it, it, like, I gotta take it to the vet it and get desexed. In a couple months. Sure. Yeah. yeah, I said, yeah. I'm gonna keep it in my room, but it's probably gonna be like shitting and all that in the bathroom. But it'll mostly be in my room. I'll keep it in my room. Can you tuck in your hands? I'll feed it in my room and it'll just shit in the bathroom. It's loafing up already. Alright. Uh, it's too hot. He decided to name her B because there was a ripped up B on the cat tree. I gave him a care package which was Merlin's old litter box, a cat tree, kitten food, and treats. Like, how could you not adopt her by this point? Morning Merlin! And that was it. This was their last day together and B was off to her new home. Morning baby cat! This is her now happy and healthy in her new home. 